All right, so first thing we want to do for this um, project is to cut down our melting pour base. I'm gonna need 450 grams for the molds I have. You can measure out your molds by filling it with water or um, with just clear melt and pour so you can see how much it is. So I need 450, that's what I need and I'm going to chop it in small pieces so it will melt easier and quicker. Okay, so this is going to the microwave or the double boiler as you prefer. As you can see, our melt and pour base has been melted completely. We split it with rubbing alcohol to get rid of the air bubbles. Now we are going to add the color. I am using burlesque mica from You Make It Up. It's beautiful Bordeaux pink. Mica does um, mix in very well in transparent, transparent my, uh, melt and pour. Sorry, but if you see that it doesn't go so well, maybe you can see. And you can give a spritz with rubbing alcohol again, and it will break. I'm gonna add a little bit more heat because I want it a little bit more vibrant. And here it's important, you can always add, you can never take back. So I prefer to, to add the color gradually as I go. That looks really good. I would like to add also some glitter. I'm using this um, bio glitter from Nurture Soap. to give it a little bit of sparkle. Okay, when I see that all these chunks are dissolved, I'm gonna add the fragrance. So this is a new fragrance because um, a person has requested a specific fragrance. This is Pink Peony Blush Suede Fragrance Oil from Saint Perfect. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna add this one to the soap base. smells awesome good so we are ready for the pour so I like to put my mold on the tray so I can easily move the soap around if I need to use the space for something else all right so we're gonna pour it into the mold and 
spritz away the air bubbles as needed. I'm not gonna fill the mold all the way to the top because this mold is quite deep. So otherwise it's gonna be like a huge soap. smells amazing so I'm gonna wait until the soap has set up and then see the unmolding of it so here they are when they are hard and set up and this is how they look once they are unmolded you can see the I don't know if the camera picks up the little glitter on top it's really cute It's an easy project to make. You can make it together with children if you assist them. And um, I think these roses are perfect for giveaways or for a guest bathroom or as a gift. And they look pretty, but they also, when they smell good, you can just put them on a nice dish and then keep it in your bathroom as a decoration. And at the same time, it's a deodorant. For the room. So with my gloves on I like to put them directly into cellophane bag like this. And as you can see here I have I had like an order of 40 of these um, roses. So this is now the last round. Put my gloves on like this and then slide them into the bag trying to touch the least possible and just to go in with my glove like that so you don't smear the soap on the cellophane. Good thing about melt and pour is you can make it and then a couple of hours later you are ready and you can use it immediately since the soap base is pre-made so it doesn't need to cure you know all right so now we are going to put a um, ribbon around it and this lady required a um, green ribbon she doesn't like she specifically said she doesn't like gold And that's true, not everybody likes. And here is the finished. Then I personally add my sticker so you know where, from where it comes from and you also know it's soap. Like this. these up to send them they are going to Geneva here in Switzerland to this lady who ordered an entire series of peony soap and peony scrub that we saw last week
had the label for these last ones. And at the moment I'm pretty busy doing some custom orders. I like it. I actually love it. I love to do like individual like, specific things that people want that I don't have in my usual website. I love it. And sometimes when I do some specials, Christmas specials or Mother's Day specials, then people uh, that receive the gift from somebody, they come and then they ask, do you, could you, could you please make this and that that I was making there on a one-time occasion? And then it's good, you know, and then you can also see, okay, this is something that people loved and so forth. So I'm going to pack this in a, in a box and then I'm go, gonna go to the post office because I'm already running a little bit late. So thanks for tuning in and see you guys later. Bye bye.